Today we're taking a moment to remember those we've lost. People who touched our lives in ways we'll always cherish. But today, we have a list of iconic stars who have left us. Legends somehow contributed their work ended up passing away. Let's come together to honor their memory. So in their honor, we're asking you to join us to like and subscribe this channel as a tribute to those we've lost. Let's keep their spirit alive by spreading kindness and joy. Fall out of bed in the morning. So my tip is try to put a little on, a little lipstick. Betty Halbright is a well-known American fashion consultant and personal shopper, celebrated for her significant impact on the fashion industry. Born in 1927 in Chicago, Halbright's passion for fashion emerged early in her life, setting the stage for her remarkable career. In 1976, she began working at New York City's iconic luxury department store Bergdorf Goodman, where she pioneered the store's first personal shopping service. Over the years, Halbright became famous for her impeccable sense of style, sharp wit, and straightforward approach to fashion. Her clientele ranged from celebrities and socialites to everyday shoppers, all of whom valued her ability to understand their needs and guide them in discovering their unique style. Her reputation for being both trusted and beloved in the fashion world is a testament to her expertise. Beyond her work at Bergdorf Goodman, Halbreich also made her mark in the world of film and television, offering her expertise in costume design and styling for various projects. Her memoir, I'll Drink to That, A Life in Style, with a twist, published in 2014, provides a captivating and humorous glimpse into her life and career. Further cementing her status as a fashion icon, Betty Halbreich's contributions to the fashion industry have left an enduring legacy, and she continues to be a respected and admired figure in the world of style. actually means not just peace, but a wholeness. A rabbi Michael Lerner is a prominent American rabbi, political activist, and author, best known for his leadership in progressive Jewish thought and his work on social justice issues. Born on February 7, 1943, in Newark, New Jersey, Lerner earned his PhD in philosophy from the University of California, Berkeley, and was later ordained as a rabbi. Lerner is the founder and editor of Tikkun a magazine dedicated to the intersection of politics, spirituality, and social activism from a Jewish perspective. Through Tikkun, he has advocated for what he calls a politics of meaning, which emphasizes compassion, ethical living, and a commitment to social justice. In addition to his work with Tikkun, Lerner has authored several influential books, including The Left Hand of God, Taking Back Our Country from the Religious Right, and Jewish Renewal, a path to healing and transformation. His writings and activism have focused on issues such as peace in the Middle East, economic justice, and the environment. Lerner is also the co-founder of the Network of Spiritual Progressives, a movement that seeks to challenge materialism and promote a more loving and just society. Throughout his career, Rabbi Michael Lerner has been a leading voice in the pursuit of a more compassionate and ethical world blending his religious beliefs with his commitment to social change. Not many people had fights with him. Um... Linda Deutsch is a distinguished American journalist, renowned for her extensive career covering high-profile trials and legal affairs. Born in 1943, Deutsch grew up in New Jersey and later pursued a career in journalism, which led her to become one of the most respected court reporters in the United States. She began her career at the Associated Press in 1967 and quickly rose to prominence for her in-depth coverage of some of the most significant legal cases of the 20th and 21st century. Her reporting portfolio includes landmark trials such as those of Charles Manson, O.J. Simpson, and Michael Jackson, where her insightful and detailed coverage earned her widespread acclaim. Deutsch's work is characterized by her meticulous attention to detail fairness, and her ability to convey the complexities of the legal system to the general public. Throughout her career, she received numerous awards and honors for her contributions to journalism. Linda Deutsch retired from the AP in 2014, leaving behind a legacy as one of the most respected and influential court reporters in American journalism.
Tag im Alter von 70 Jahren nach einer schweren Krebserkrankung. Dies teilte sein Christoph Daum ist ein prominenter German Football Manager, known for both his achievements and the controversies that marked his career in European Football. Born on October 24, 1953, in Elsnitz, Germany, Daum initially pursued a career as a player before finding his true calling in coaching, where he made a significant impact. Dom rose to prominence in the 1980s and 1990s, managing several top European clubs, including FC Köln, VfB Stuttgart, and Bayer Leverkusen. He earned a reputation for his tactical intelligence, motivational leadership, and his knack for revitalizing struggling team. His success was highlighted by leading Stuttgart to a Bundesliga title in 1992, solidifying his status as one of Germany's leading coaches, However, Dom's career was also marred by controversy. In 2000, he was poised to take on the role of head coach for the German national team, but was embroiled in a scandal over allegations of drug use. A positive drug test forced him to step down, which significantly damaged his career and public reputation. Despite these setbacks, Christoph Dom remains a respected figure in football management, known for his resilience and deep understanding of the game. His contributions to the sport and the teams he managed are still recognized and appreciated. Higher life. So, uh, I, I love it. I always have. And Mark Gustafson, the Oscar-winning co-director of Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, passed away at the age of 64. An accomplished animator and director, Gustafson's career in animation began in the 1980s and spanned various forms though he became particularly known for his work in Claymation. His early projects included the Claymation Christmas Celebration TV special and the Emmy-nominated Meet the Raisins, which featured the California Raisins. He later directed episodes of The PJs, a series led by Eddie Murphy. Gustafson's talents also extended to working as the animation director for Wes Anderson's Fantastic Mr. Fox and leading the Claymation sequences in A Very Herald and Kumar Christmas. Guillermo del Toro, in a tribute on X, expressed his admiration for Gustafsson, calling him a pillar of stop-motion animation and a true artist. Their collaboration on Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio earned an Oscar for Best Animated Feature in 2023, along with a Golden Globe, three Visual Effects Society Awards, and five Annie Awards, including one for Outstanding Achievement in Directing. Del Toro further praised Gustafsson's enduring influence on the animation industry, noting that his legacy stretches back to the origins of claymation and has shaped the careers of countless animators. Gustafsson leaves behind not only a historic filmography, but also a community of friends and colleagues who admired his work and dedication. Carol Hismonic is a highly respected Czech actor and theater director known for his significant contributions to both stage and screen in the Czech Republic. Born on October 17, 1947, in Prague, Hezmonik discovered his love for acting early on. He pursued his passion at the Janáček Academy of Music and Performing Arts in Brno, where he refined his skills and launched his theatre career. Hezmonik gained widespread acclaim for his versatile performances across a range of genres, from drama to comedy. He became a well-known figure in Czech cinema, starring in numerous films and television series, where his talent and charm made him a favorite among audiences. In addition to his acting career, Hezmonik is a respected theater director. His involvement in various theater productions, both as an actor and director, highlights his deep understanding of the craft. His work has earned him critical praise and multiple awards throughout his career. Carol Hegemonic is not only celebrated for his artistic achievements, but also for his dedication to the cultural life, the Czech Republic. He remains an influential presence in Czech theater and film, continually contributing to the advancement of the arts in his country. The group, they're rather stupid. Award-winning Linus Johns the British actress who portrayed the suffragette mother Winifred Banks in the original Mary Poppins, passed away at the age of 100. Personally chosen by Walt Disney for the iconic 1964 musical alongside Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke, Johns made a memorable entrance with her spirited performance of Sister Suffragette. 
Throughout her illustrious career, she received a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination for her role in The Sundowners and won a Tony Award for her performance in the original Broadway production of Stephen Sondheim's A Little Night Music, where she famously sang Send in the Clowns. Whatever I have learned, I want to share. But two of my favorite books. Ruth Johnson Colvin, born on December 16, 1916, in Chicago, Illinois, was a celebrated American literacy advocate and educator. She is most renowned for founding Literacy Volunteers of America, LVA, in 1962, an organization dedicated to fighting illiteracy through volunteer-led tutoring programs. Colvin was motivated to start LVA after discovering the high illiteracy rates in Syracuse, New York where she lived. Her work has since educated millions of adults and helped establish literacy programs both across the United States and internationally. Colvin authored several books and educational resources on literacy and adult education, making substantial contributions to the field. Her impactful work earned her numerous honors, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2006, one of the highest civilian awards in the U.S. Even into her 90s, Colvin remained actively involved in literacy initiatives, showcasing her enduring dedication to education and community service. Her legacy is defined by her relentless advocacy and the transformative effect she had on the lives of countless individuals through literacy. You could hear the whole world turn on its axis. The second thing I want to say is, am I the- Nell McCafferty, born on March 28, 1944, in Derry, Northern Ireland, is a celebrated Irish journalist, playwright, and feminist activist. She is a significant figure in Irish media and politics, known for her outspoken advocacy for social justice, particularly women's rights. McCafferty gained prominence in the 1970s as a pioneering journalist, contributing to various Irish newspapers and emerging as a leading voice in the feminist movement. As a founding member of the Irish Women's Liberation Movement, she played a crucial role in advancing gender equality in Ireland. In addition to her journalism, McCafferty authored several books, including The Armagh Women, which details the experiences of women prisoners during the Troubles, and Nell, a memoir offering a personal look into her life and career. Her fearless advocacy, sharp wit, and significant contributions to journalism and the fight for social justice have earned her widespread respect and recognition as a trailblazer for women's rights in Ireland. Yvonne Delcourt was a Belgian actress renowned for her work in European cinema during the mid-20th century. Born on March 28, 1932, in Belgium, Delcourt earned acclaim for her roles in a range of films that showcased her talent and versatility. Active primarily in the 1950s and 1960s, she appeared in numerous films that solidified her reputation as a skilled actress. Delcourt was known for her ability to portray complex characters, which earned her a devoted following among European audience. Though she may not be as widely recognized internationally, Yvonne Delcourt made a lasting impact on Belgian cinema and is remembered for her significant contributions to the arts. Her career reflects the vibrant tradition of European film from that era and she remains a respected figure in the history of Belgian cinema. Winsome Sinclair is a highly regarded American casting director and producer, celebrated for her substantial impact on the film and television industry. With a career that spans over 30 years, Sinclair has been involved in numerous high-profile projects and is considered one of Hollywood's most influential casting directors. She quickly made a name for herself in the entertainment world with her keen eye for talent and her work on iconic films such as Malcolm X, Amistad, Inside Man, and Black Panther. In addition to her casting expertise, Sinclair has also worked as a producer and mentor, committed to opening doors for underrepresented voices in the industry. She co-founded Winsome Sinclair & Associates, casting and production company known for its leadership and innovation in the field. Throughout her career, Sinclair has received many accolades for her contributions and has been a pioneer for diversity and inclusion in Hollywood. Her lasting impact on the industry continues to inspire future generations of filmmakers and actors. I've been clean for 60 
years. I'm so enthused about it and loving it so much that I ended up writing. Don Aslett is a prominent American author, entrepreneur, and cleaning expert, often hailed as America's number one cleaning expert. Born on February 10, 1935, in Idaho, Aslett turned his passion for cleanliness into a successful career, creating a popular business and writing a series of influential books. In 1957, Aslett founded Varsity Contractors, which evolved into a major nationwide cleaning service. His innovative methods and focus on efficiency made him a highly sought-after speaker and consultant in the cleaning industry. Aslett has authored over 40 books, with many focusing on cleaning, time management, and decluttering. His notable titles include Is There Life After Housework, Clutter's Last Stand, and The Cleaning Encyclopedia. Through his writing and speaking engagements, Aslett has motivated millions to incorporate cleanliness and organization into their lives for greater happiness and productivity. Beyond his business and literary successes, Aslett has established several cleaning museums, such as the Museum of Clean in Pocatello, Idaho, which highlights the history and significance of cleanliness throughout time. Bill Donahue, the iconic daytime talk show host, passed away on August 18 at the age of 88. Often referred to as the king of daytime talk, Donahue revolutionized television with his influential program, The Phil Donahue Show, which aired from 1967 to 1996. His show was unique for focusing on a single guest or topic each hour and engaging the audience in the conversation by inviting their question. Donahue made a bold debut by featuring atheist activist Madeleine Murray O'Hare, known for her campaign to remove prayer from public schools. This controversial choice set the tone for a show that wasn't afraid to address provocative or sensitive subjects, including incest, abortion, and homosexuality, topics many other daytime shows avoided. Over his 29-year career, Donahue interviewed a diverse range of guests, from feminists and Ku Klux Klan members to politicians and porn stars, earning a reputation for addressing important women's issues and social topics. The show was particularly popular among female viewers and was praised for bringing to light discussions that were often reserved for private conversations. In a 2002 interview with Oprah for O Magazine, Donahue reflected on how his show provided a platform for women to discuss subjects that were not typically aired on television. Donahue's work earned him nine Daytime Emmys, 21 nominations, a Primetime Emmy for his special Donahue and Kids. He also received a Peabody Award in 1981, cementing his legacy as a pioneering figure in daytime television. Will Smith, born on September 25, 1968, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is a well-known American actor, producer, and musician. Famous for his charm and versatility, he's had a successful career in music, TV, and movies, making him one of Hollywood's top stars. Smith's rise to fame began in his teens when he teamed up with his childhood friend, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Jeff Towns. Together, they formed the duo DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, known for their catchy and clean rap lyrics. In 1989, they won the first-ever Grammy Award for Best Rap Performance with their hit Parents Just Don't Understand. His success in music paved the way for his big break in television. In 1990, Smith starred in the NBC sitcom, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, playing a fictionalized version of himself. The show was a huge hit, running for six seasons and making Smith a household name. Building on his TV success, Smith moved into movies in the mid-1990s, starring in box office hits like Bad Boys, 1995, and Independence Day, 1996. His role in Men in Black, 1997, solidified his reputation as a leading man who could carry blockbuster franchises. Over the years, Smith has shown his range as an actor with roles in films like Alley, 2001, for which he was nominated for an Academy Award, The Pursuit of Happiness, 2006, and Hitch, 2005. As of August 2024, Will Smith has been focused on maintaining his health and well-being. He's been open with fans about his fitness journey and personal challenges, especially on his YouTube channel and social media. Recently, he shared his commitment to getting back in shape after gaining weight and feeling out of sorts during the COVID-19 pandemic. Smith embarked on a tough fitness regimen, 
documented in a series called Best Shape of My Life. This journey wasn't just about physical fitness but also about mental health, as he explored deeper aspects of his life and personal growth. His honesty and dedication to self-improvement earned him praise and inspired many of his followers to focus on their own health and wellness. Will Smith's diverse career and personal journey continue to engage audiences worldwide. His contributions to entertainment, his openness about personal struggles, and his commitment to health and wellness make him a beloved and influential figure in today's culture. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.